Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you my Perfumes de Marley collection. Just the fragrances that's in my collection because Bay definitely has his own Perfumes de Marley collection, but we're gonna talk about my fragrances here today. So if you wanna know what's in my Perfumes de Marley collection, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure the red subscribe button turns gray. Make sure you tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you like my content and the algorithm, girl. Like, let's just be real. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. Okay, guys, so a lot of my fragrance collection was built in 2020 during quarantine. Like, I had nowhere to go, nothing to do, nothing else to shop for than fragrances and groceries. <laughs> That was like my life and I think a lot of our lives in 2020. But there's certain fragrances, there's a few fragrances in my collection, not a few, you know, there's some fragrances in my collection that I've had long before 2020 and Delina being one of them. Long before YouTube was even a thought in my mind, I had Delina. I love this fragrance. Now, I never saw a YouTube video about this fragrance. I purchased this fragrance from following Amra Amrizi on Instagram. She used to do like these, I think she probably still does. I still follow her, she's so gorgeous. I'm sure you guys know Amrizi. But she had a pink series and she just like, when she just posts like pink dresses or she's wearing pink, she's at like a pink venue, just all pink. And she had like, she showed her dresser or her vanity or something like that. And she had this bottle on there with like some candles and some other beautiful pink things. And I was like, wow, what is that? That's a fragrance. But you know, I've never heard of that. I've never seen that. It was the bottle that caught my eye. So when I Googled it and I saw the notes, I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. Amra has it. And she's like a fly influencer to me. So, you know, I'm like, if she likes how it smells and I'm sure I like how it smells. I blind purchased it. And sure enough, I was obsessed. And that was the gateway that opened my love for part perfumes de Marley. Delina is a very feminine, beautiful fragrance. Delina is one of those fragrances that I have to make myself stop wearing because I will wear the crap out of this fragrance because that's how much I love it. And I mainly wear it in the spring and in the summer, sometimes like early fall when that crisp breeze is blowing and you smell Delina. It's so good guys, like so, so good. So let me tell you the notes. It opens up with bergamot, there's rhubarb, there's nutmeg, there's Turkish rose, there's peony, there's vanilla, there's musk, there's vetiver, there's incense. Guys, this to me, this is an intoxicating scent. I absolutely love this. It's intoxicating for me. <laughs> like when I have this on, all I wanna do is just smell myself the entire day. Anything Delina has, I want it. Let me show you something. So with Delina, if you want to layer with Delina, guys, you can now purchase the shower gel. This is my backup because I have my original one in the shower because that stays in my shower every single day. I love the Delina shower gel. I mean, I only use it when I'm planning on wearing Delina, but it stays in there because I wear Delina most times. So I have my backup shower gel. I also have a travel size. I ordered something from the Parfums de Marley website and I got a free 50 ml Delina shower gel. So this is gonna go for traveling. I also have the Delina body cream. Guys, this is a must. If you don't wear fragrance or if you don't like the smell of fragrances, the Delina body cream is a must because it's so fragrant with Delina, but it doesn't give you that alcohol like you know you're gonna get in a fragrance. So if you're someone that just likes scented body creams, which I know a lot of you are, you need the Delina body cream. Now the downside of this cream is that once opened, you're only gonna get six months for the shelf life. Now for me, when I use it, I use it very liberally. Like I go in, I put this all over my legs, all over my back, like literally all over my body, I put this Delina cream because I don't want it to go to waste. And because it's like a kind of spring summer scent, I don't really wear it too much in the fall and winter. Like early fall, I'll do it. I'll wear Delina up until like late October, early November. It depends on the type of fall that we're having because sometimes it can get really hot. But if it starts to cool down too much, like below, like let's say 50s, then I actually, I have worn Delina in the 50s. You can do Delina in the 50s. But anything lower than 50s, it's just too cold for Delina for me. <laughs> but you know, so I use this liberally. So just be careful of the shelf life. I mean, I'm sure at the six month mark, like you can, you know, you can probably push it a few more days or a couple more weeks or whatever. But um, I just want the scent to be the same. So that's why I definitely look at the shelf life of my body creams once I open them. So Delina body cream is a must. And also 
the hand cream. Guys, when I tell you this smells like the fragrance, like Delina products are so super fragrant. I'm not sure about the candle because I don't own the candle, but this little lotion, when I ordered this, I got this from um, Nordstrom, right? And when I ordered this and this, actually, no, I think I bought this from the Delina. Yeah, no, I bought this from the Parfums and Marley website. I have another one. I have a backup of this too. I didn't want to show you too many of my backups because I don't want to be obnoxious. But guys, trust me when I tell you, Delina is not going anywhere in this household, okay? And I use it very liberally because I know that I have a backup. Like, my backups have backup. So, I purchased this from um, the Parfums and Marley website. And this is so small, guys. Like, look how little this is. But it packs a punch. This smells so fragrant. So, after, you know, you've put your Delina fragrance on and you're washing your hands and sanitizing your hands, you need a hand cream. So, when I'm wearing Delina... I don't take my Chanel egg, my Chanel cream, because I have my Delina hand cream, because I'm gonna need to smell this, guys. I love to just have Delina just engulfed all over me. Like, it's so beautiful. And it doesn't stop there. I also have my Delina purse spray. I have a pack of these. I think this came in a pack of four. Yeah, I think a pack of four. So whenever I'm wearing Delina, I have my purse spray. Do you really need this? You probably don't. It's I'm probably just really extra. I just love purse sprays. If I don't have to decant, I'm not because, you know, I just love these little bottles that the fragrances come in. It's cute to pull out in your purse. So yeah, guys, definitely you can have your whole layering life with Delina. So please don't think that if you have the Delina fragrance and it doesn't last long on you, that, you know, like just layer, like get the shower gel, get the body cream, the hand cream, get the purse spray to top yourself off throughout the day, the night, whenever. Because this scent is so, like I said, intoxicatingly good, guys. That sour rhubarb note is everything in the opening. And I absolutely love, 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 love this fragrance. Thank you, I'm Reezy, for having this on your Instagram feed because I have never looked back. Okay, guys, so next we have Delina Exclusive, and it's the exact same bottle. It just has Exclusive written here on the bottom. So exact same bottle, Delina Exclusive. Now, this fragrance is your fall and winter Delina. So have no fear. Once the spring, summer, and early fall is over, you can still get your Delina fix with Delina Exclusive. This is a warmer, toastier, creamier version of Delina, and it also has oud. But guys, don't let that oud fool you, okay? Because to me, I don't smell the oud. I definitely don't smell the oud. It just smells like a darker, it just smells like a sexier version of Delina. Like, Delina is super feminine and playful and girly and just pretty. And this can be like your sex pot, although she's in this beautiful pink bottle. So let me tell you the notes. It opens up with lychee, there's pear, there's bergamot, there's Turkish rose, there's oud, there's incense, there's vanilla, there's amber, and there's woody notes. So as you can see, it's just darker, it's deeper, it's more complex. But I mean, let me not say more complex, because my girl Delina, she, she got it going on. She's not no slouch. But this is just a heavier, thicker version of Delina. And it smells like Delina, but it definitely has its own scent. And the dry down, it's very creamy and very woody. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent, guys. Delina Exclusive. Guys, look at this bottle. Don't look at my nails, but look at the bottle. This is a gorgeous bottle. How beautiful is this bottle? Now, this fragrance was sent to me by the fragrance group because if you didn't know, you can save 20% on your Parfum Zomali fragrances by using my discount code, thegreat20, on soavantgarde.com. Now, guys, this fragrance right here, this is Darcy in this beautiful, beautiful bottle. Now, like I said, I was sent this fragrance. Guys, when I smelt this fragrance, I said, okay, I'm gonna wear it. I'm definitely gonna wear it because I, I have it and I don't wanna waste it, but I would not buy this fragrance. Now, let me tell you why. It's not a bad fragrance, it's just not for me. Let me tell you the notes. It opens up with citruses, there's orange, there's lemon, there's rose, jasmine, patchouli, there's sweet notes, white musk, and woody notes. Now guys, when I looked at the notes for this, I got my notes from Fragrantica. And I always scroll down because I want to see what the people are saying. <laughs> you know, like I want to see what is everybody saying about certain fragrances. So the general consensus on Fragrantica.com was that this is Coco Mademoiselle. Coco Mademoiselle, where? Where? 
because I own Coco Mademoiselle. I own Coco Mademoiselle Intense. I have the shower oils, the, sh the shower sprays, the body butters, the body lotions, the shower gel. Listen, I have everything that's Coco Mademoiselle. I have it in my collection because I love Coco Mademoiselle, okay? This right here, it this isn't a love. This is, a, I'm gonna use it because this bottle is gorgeous. I'm gonna try to mix it with other fragrances. But this right here, guys, this is a no for me. And I don't know why they're saying Coco Mademoiselle. Now, when you smell it initially, you may, get, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll get a little bit of Coco Mademoiselle. But this is a very sharp, a very woody, a very resinous fragrance. And for my nose, it's just, it's, it's, it's a hard no for me. It's definitely a hard no for me. And I'm so disappointed because this bottle is so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. If you have this fragrance, leave it in the comments below. Let's talk about it. But guys, for me, it's a no for me. Because like I said, it's very, it needs a little bit more sweetness. It needs more creaminess. It needs something. It feels like it's not yet finished being blended. That's what it, that's what it smells like. And I'm so annoyed that they're saying that this smells like Coco Mademoiselle because I don't want you guys to say, oh, I love Coco Mademoiselle. So feminine, so beautiful. And then you order this fragrance and you're like, oh no, this isn't Coco Mademoiselle at all. You know, it's just, it's very, like I said, it's very, it's very harsh. It's very sharp. It's very, it's just not, it's just not. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous bottle, guys. And this is Darcy by Parfums de Marly. Next up, we have Athalia. Now, guys, this was also sent to me by the fragrance group. And this is a hard yes for me. It is beautiful, guys. Now, this tricked me. Because seeing this black bottle, like, okay, first of all, I opened darcy first right when i got these fragrances, i opened darcy first because i'm like this bottle is beautiful i see it everywhere i can't wait to smell it and then i was taken aback so then when i got to this one right here i was like oh lord like she got the black bottle she means business like i'm scared to smell it so i sprayed it like reluctantly like you know like i, I was scared I, I was scared when i sprayed it and then i smelled it and my, like, I just lit up out of relief, first of all. And also, I was a little shocked because this bottle is just like so sexy and sharp and hard and she means business, but the fragrance is so light and soft and smooth. Like, the fragrance doesn't match the bottle to me. Let me tell you the notes. It opens up with orange blossom, there's iris, there's white musk, and there's amber. Guys, this is a beautiful feminine fragrance. This is a soft feminine fragrance delete let me tell you something if these two right wait where's she at okay so they're both at the playground right <laughs> follow me they're picking on poor delina because she's pink and soft and pretty and they're bullying her but then she breaks out taibo she breaks out jujitsu and taibo because she's just that chick now athalia starts crying and running but you would think that she would have delina's back because just look at her. Look at her. You would think she would have Delina's back because she looks like, okay, you mess with my little sister and I'm going to beat you up. But no, Athalia runs and cries. That's, do you get that comparison? Well, that's what this is. Delina is definitely more of a loud, projecting, performing fragrance that has more layers. This is a very beautiful fragrance, but it's very soft. So I'm just saying that this bottle, it just it just threw me. It completely threw me for a loop because this is a very soft and powdery fragrance. It's a beautiful fragrance. I love it and it performs well, but she's no Delina, but a beautiful, beautiful, soft, feminine, very soft, very feminine, very girly. Don't let this sexy black bottle fool you. This is not a sexy date night fragrance. For me, I wouldn't wear this on a sexy date night. I'm wearing this to church. I'm wearing this to brunch. I'm wearing this in the day. You can wear this to run errands. It's that type of fragrance. It can also be worn to work. If you work in an environment where you're working around people, even, you know what, I'm gonna, let me see something. Hope, give me a second. I'm gonna go as far as to say, if you're a nurse, right? And you work with patients, you can possibly wear this to work. I think you can wear this to work. 
because it's a soft fragrance. It's that soft. So if you work in the food industry, if you work in the hospital, I feel like you can wear this fragrance. It smells really beautiful, really beautiful and feminine, but it's not going to offend anyone and they have to be really close to you in order for them to smell it. So this is Athalia. So next up we have Casilli, AKA Creamsicle. <laughs> Because this is what this fragrance gives me, guys. That sherbet with vanilla ice cream mixed around like a beautiful creamy creamsicle. Guys, this is a beautiful scent. Let me find a, some clean skin to spray it on. This is so pretty. Another very feminine fragrance. It smells really, really good. It has moderate projection and moderate longevity. So the notes, it opens up with red currant. There's floral notes. There's Bulgarian rose. There's plum. There's frangipani. There's a uh, mimosa, there's tonka, there's vanilla and sandalwood. Not super groundbreaking, but it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. So pretty, so feminine. It doesn't smell like anything I've ever smelled before. It smells like how the bottle looks, like a creamsicle. And it's so creamy and beautiful, guys. This is definitely a more spring and summer type of fragrance or very, very early fall. Because once that temperature starts to drop, this isn't gonna do anything on you guys. It's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna fade, like fade into the, the, the background. But it's a very beautiful scent. This was also sent to me by the fragrance group. Guys, if you're interested in any of these fragrances, save 20% using my discount code, thegreat20 on soulavantgarde.com. All the information is gonna be in the description box and I'll also leave it in my comment section as well. I'll pin it in my comment section. But it's a very pretty scent, very creamy. If you like a creamy, creamsicle type of fragrance, this is for you and it's very feminine and beautiful and flirty and girly, guys. Casilli by Parfumes de Marly. Next up, we have Safanade, one of my favorites from the line. I go back and forth between Safanade and Zelina, guys. That's how good this one is. So this one is pear orange. It opens up very fruity and citrusy and bright. And then there's orange blossom, one of my absolute favorite notes and fragrances. There's ylang ylang, there's iris, there's vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. It's a little powdery. You have those bright citruses in the opening. Now to me, this can be like fall, like spring, summer, and fall. Definitely you can take this all the way into fall because it does have that sandalwood and amber that's gonna hold it up a little bit and not just be a citrus fragrance. But then you can also wear it in the spring and in the summer because it has those beautiful citrus notes in the opening. This can be a signature scent. I can definitely see this being a signature scent. If you work in an environment where there's people, you can wear this as well. Just mind your sprays. It's not super beast mode. It's not gonna project and be bouncing off your skin like crazy, but it definitely will have, it has a moderate um, longevity. Cause I think I wore this for like eight hours. I was smelling this after eight hours on my skin, but guys, you know that I do have a purse spray for this. I didn't just wear this on its own that day because I felt like it wasn't really gonna give me what I needed it to give, but she does definitely perform well enough. You know what I mean? It's a beautiful scent. If you love orange blossom, you'll absolutely love this fragrance. It's a beautiful citrus orange blossom, woody fragrance, guys. Definitely a beautiful scent. And in my opinion, it doesn't remind me anything of Love Don't Be Shy or Libre or anything with orange blossom. Because I think I read that on Fragrantica. Where are these Fragrantica people getting these comparisons from? Like, I, I just, I don't understand it. But I mean, you know, I'm, I'm always reading it because it is the Fragrance Bible. But sometimes I just have to scratch my head. Like, I mean, I have Love Don't Be Shy and I don't get Safanade and Love Don't Be Shy at all, like at all. But it's beautiful, it's fresh, it's clean, it's signature scent worthy. Safanade by Parfumes de Marly. So the last fragrance in my Parfums de Marly collection is Meliora. Guys, I love this one as well. This is a beautiful, fresh, and spicy, woody fragrance. And the performance is not that bad on my skin either. I'm getting six hours on my skin of this fragrance. Spray it on your clothes and you'll get longer. This for me is not another, you know, date night type of fragrance. The only one that I'd actually wear on a date night is Delina and Delina Exclusive. Um, but this is a nice daytime scent. It's an everyday scent. It can be a signature scent. Let me tell you the notes. It opens up with black currant. There's red berries. There's cassis. There's rose, ylang ylang, lily of the valley, musk, and vanilla. Now, this is a fragrance that I would take into early fall as well. I mean, let me... I haven't had it for... I haven't had it in the fall, so I'm not sure. Actually, I probably wouldn't wear this in the fall. Like, I'm... I'm, I'm gonna just be honest with you i wouldn't wear this in the fall and i wouldn't suggest wearing it in the fall like once it gets past 50 degrees she's not gonna give you anything now guys for me this smells like it has a pear note in it there's no pear note listed but i promise you i'm smelling some type of a juicy pear in this fragrance i don't know where i'm getting it from 
but because I love pear, like I just love pear. I'm obsessed with pear in my fragrances. This fragrance was sent to me by the fragrance group, but I would purchase this fragrance because I do love this scent. It's a beautiful scent, guys. Meliora by Parfumes de Marly. Okay, guys, so there you have it, my Parfumes de Marly collection. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what Parfumes de Marly fragrances you have. And the ones that Bay has in his collection, guys, is so good. I absolutely love them. Even some of them can smell like they're unisex. Like, I can possibly wear some of them, too. But he's, like, real stingy because I have so many fragrances, so I can't touch his fragrances. But it's all good. Remember, if you're interested in any Parfumes de Marly fragrance, purchase from SoulAvantGarde.com using my 20% discount code because you guys know... Parfums of Marley really goes on sale. Like, they don't have discount. If you want to save your coins, because these fragrances are very expensive, use my 20% discount code, thegreat 20 on SoAvantGarde.com and just get your whole Parfums of Marley life. So remember, guys, to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.